Okay, it's time for me to work on my uh, personal work machine. It's a mess. You'll see here in a moment. It's time to clean it up and upgrade it. 3700X. Okay, so this has a Ryzen 1700 in it. It's been a fantastic uh, processor. This machine's been absolutely bulletproof. It rocks everything at work, but I wanna upgrade it. So I'm gonna put the 3700X in it today, but I'm gonna leave it on the Z270 motherboard that I have in, in here. It's the Crosshair 6 Hero. Uh, I've updated the BIOS, so everything's current, but I do need to clean this thing up as you're gonna see here. It is an absolute mess. There is dust everywhere. And in the midst of me cleaning it and changing the processor, I'm gonna go ahead and go away from the stock uh, cooler, the Wraith cooler, which by the way is really good. It's been awesome for me. But I'm gonna go away from that and I'm going to put in the Noctua uh, NHU12S, uh, which is a much better, better cooler. And I'm also going to put in uh, a new power supply from Seasonic. Uh, my cable mod uh, cables have not shown up yet. I can add those later, not a big deal. But uh, yeah, so let's get this thing all cleaned up and, uh, oh yeah, ah, I'll come back here. Let's get this thing cleaned up and we will uh, show you some test results. Oh. Well, what the? This is what can happen when a CPU sits well. Holy buckets, I can't believe the temperatures were, getting, we're not getting hot. I mean, this thing is, oh, I'm not really sure how I'm gonna get that off there. <laughs> Alrighty then, I'll figure that one out. So first off, impressions. Wow, are those Noctua fans just ugly. Ugh, it's brutal. Not that this is the most glamorous looking build. It's not meant to be. But holy crap, are those fans ugly. I don't know. Anyway, um, so we've gone from the 1700. We have the 3700X. It is recognized. We have the RAM that is recognized. And I've got the... Um, DOCP profile in there and it's set at 3600. Uh, I have not done anything else yet. I just wanted to get this booted up and make sure one that it works. 
And uh, first thing I notice is, wow, the core voltage is really high. I'm going to have to play with those and figure out where those are supposed to be in the end, but that, that seems really, really high. But it also goes to show you how well the um, Noctua cools, because even at that, it's 45 degrees. Now, granted, that is at um, idle here, just in BIOS. Uh, you know, I'll go through here. I'm going to figure all this stuff out. Uh, I don't entirely know what we got going on, but regardless, we're going to go ahead and get into um, Windows here real quick. And um, I'm very curious to see a couple of things. One, I've got some uh, benchmarks I'm going to throw up where I did do um, a couple different be benchmarks like... Uh, the BMW test on a handbrake, and then I used um, uh, the C I did Cinebench, and I did a render on a uh, longer 4K video. And I did that with the 1700 at stock and overclocked, and it was amazing how impressive the overclocked um, processor uh, actually worked because. We notice a, a pretty substantial uh, decrease in time or increase in, in performance. I want to see how this one holds up compared to what that did on that same render. Uh, and I'll have those all here for you in a little bit. My first impressions is, wow, is this thing blowing through Cinebench R20. Um, holy buckets. That's pretty cool. We'll let this finish up here. And then I think I'm going to do the render first, and then we'll come back and we'll do the rest. I don't know if I've got R15 on here or not. And this is all stock. I haven't changed anything yet. Give me a base score the very first time around at 47.35. That's pretty good. You know what else I want to do? I want to open up the hardware monitor. All right, I got a hardware monitor up here running. We're going to go back into Cinebench R20 first. We're going to run that. I want to see what our processors are doing, where our temps are hitting. Again, I'll completely stock. I've not done anything. I would like to know what's up with the, um, what the voltage is that this thing's putting out, but boosting up to 4.167 so we'll call it 4.1 to 4.2 on on all cores um 100 utilization temperatures looks like it's now it's up to about 69 degrees not too bad considering oh there we go we hit 70. and if anybody's got some input as to what the voltage voltages should be at um again that just seems really high maybe i'm wrong but uh, I would like to see that input. And my score of the school around 45.69. All right, we're gonna do a couple more here and I'll give you some scores and then uh, we'll come back and talk about the results. Well, as you can see from the uh, benchmarks, um, uh, this thing's an absolute beast. For the money, I don't see a better processor out there, uh, to be honest. Uh, eight cores, 16 threads, just like the i9-9900K by Intel, at a heck of a lot uh, lesser of a price. Uh, n yes, the 9900K is a faster CPU. Absolutely, it is. The IPCs are better but you pay an absolute premium to get that. I would have no problem saying if you're gaming, if you are um, video editing, photo editing, whatever, um, if you just want a nice 
cost effective, if you can call it that. CPU, the 3700X is fantastic. I think it's the chip that uh, uh, AMD's got right now that is its best value. Um, this thing is tearing through pretty much everything between Premiere, absolutely, and even at games. I mean, this thing does a great job. Uh, we saw some just quick scores in Cinebench there. They were fantastic. Obviously, I don't need to go through a whole gamut because those are all out there uh, everywhere, but I wanted to see what it was like doing it on a Z290, uh, I'm sorry, a Z270 motherboard, or X270, I don't even know. I'm My brain shot, X270 motherboard. I don't know why I keep saying Z, whatever. Um, an X270 motherboard. Uh, everything's updated. I mean, it just, it runs perfectly fine. Uh, I do need to play around with the uh, settings in there. I am very curious as to why the voltages are so high. If anybody's got any input on that, please let me know below because I want to see if I can figure out how I can get those voltages down. They make me a little nervous. Uh, temperatures seem to be in check. Obviously, I think that's got to do with the Noctua cooler, which is ungodly ugly. It's just it's brutal. I don't know <laughs> why those brown fans. I know I should just order uh, an industrial or a redo fan, but oh God, they're just so ugly. They work. Anyway, uh, hopefully you liked today's video. If you did, let me know. Hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit that thumbs down button. Hopefully it's not that. Hit that subscribe button for me. Uh, obviously that does a whole bunch for the channel. And uh, we'll see you in the upcoming videos here. Have a good week.